Madison, thank you. It is 7.03. Today, Norfolk School Board members are expected to meet to decide if students will return to in-classroom learning for the second quarter of the school year. And the clock is ticking to make a decision because the second quarter starts in two weeks. Daniel Sides, Kiana Patterson live this morning with what school leaders will consider. Kiana? Yeah, that's right. Well, we do know school leaders will consider the health and safety as they can make those decisions on moving back to in-person learning. And we also know that tonight they're going to review some survey results from parents and teachers. Now, Ted on your side, obtain the presentation that will come out tonight. In it, the survey results show that most parents selected yes to the idea of sending their child to in-person learning. Now, while about 33% of teachers strongly disagree that it is safe to return to school with social distancing and wearing masks, the current plan is to keep students virtual learning for the first nine weeks, but other school districts nearby have put out plans for their second quarter. Some Norfolk parents tell us that they also want a concrete decision so that they can have enough time to plan ahead. Other, t other parents say that they understand why the plan is taking some time. Concerning would just be uncertainty. Um, we, I understand that the school board has a seemingly impossible job. They're making a playbook for a situation that we've never been in before, so I understand that and I support them in that. Um, but it is challenging for families. I do feel like the Norfolk Public School System is a little slower to arrive at a decision about what they're going to do as far as getting our kids back into school. And that school board meeting will be live streamed. I'll post that link over on wavy.com. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.